If you've been following Solidarity Times from the beginning, then you'll remember that maybe a year ago, shortly after our launch, one of the things we covered was the eviction at Grange Gorman. A large area of industrial, retail and houses had been left vacant for years at Grange Gorman and had been occupied uh, and people had been living there for about two years until last year when in the very early morning they suddenly found security guards and cops storming into their compound in order to try and evict them. If you saw the coverage you'll remember that initially they were successful. They stopped the eviction happening and the case then went to the High Court. Eventually, as might be expected, the High Court found in favour of the property developers and capitalist class and decided that the people had no right to live there despite the fact they had no other place to go and the people trying to take possession of the property seemed to have no plans with it whatsoever other than to sell it. One year on and it turns out Grange Gorman has been sold. One product of that is that the new owners haven't bothered maintaining the 24 security presence that was used to keep the people who lived here previously out. And a consequence, they reoccupied it last week. The footage you're seeing here isn't in fact archive footage from a year ago, but footage we shot yesterday. What this footage confirms is that after the High Court injunction was granted last year and the people living here thrown out on the streets, the people who actually took possession of it then did nothing at all with the complex. It was left in a state of dereliction. As we're seeing in the videos here, the only thing that we can see that happened was that some of the windows were boarded up. This during a year when the housing crisis in Dublin got considerably worse. Grange Gorman had been a home for some 30 people. Where were those people expected to go after they were evicted? And why were they, were they evicted if the only intention was, as we see here, to leave the complex vacant in the hope of flipping it over, selling it to somebody else and making a profit? This is a short but clear example of exactly where the housing crisis in Ireland comes from. It's not about a shortage of land and it's not about a shortage of buildings. It's about a system that puts profit above the need of people for houses. The Grange Gorman complex is huge and right in the middle of Dublin 7, pretty much in the city centre in Dublin, one of the areas of the country that's probably considered most desirable for people to find housing in. 50 metres up the road from the complex, there are more vacant buildings. In fact, it was to here that the 30 people thrown out initially moved. These buildings were owned by the HSE, had again been left vacant for years, and again, people were evicted from them. But one year later, we see that these buildings have also been left vacant for an entire year, slap bang in the centre of Dublin in the midst of a terrible housing crisis.